Well, in a matter of days, we have gone from a cold spring to one that is bursting with warmth and color. Uh, that had us wondering, how do trees know when to bloom? And did it take longer than usual this year? Good question. Jeff Wagner explains why nature follows its own schedule, not ours. How would you describe what the walk looks like today compared to two weeks ago? It's so much more green and everything's blooming. From the edge of the Mississippi River. Awesome, everything I to parks and yards. It's crazy, the difference. Another sign that spring has sprung hangs from above like a colorful canopy. When they get what they need, they'll leaf out and they'll bloom. Val Cervenka is the forest health program coordinator with the DNR. So what do trees need to leaf out, to bloom? Well, it depends on the tree, but most trees need a period of chilling. Okay, we know that is dormancy. That's right. The spring bloom starts with the fall chill into winter when a tree conserves its energy into its roots. Then three pieces to the puzzle emerge in March and April, allowing plants to know that breaking their buds is almost safe to do. And what happens to our days in the spring? Oh, okay, they, they're longer, longer. Longer days mean more sunshine. More time to soak up the sun is key. So too is moisture, which hasn't been much of a problem this season. And lastly, more warmth. They're called degree days, yeah. but it's not temperature, it's, it's a heat unit. When that number has been reached, those leaves will push out. Feels like, especially this year, it's been like a longer wait to wait for the bloom to come. April in the Twin Cities this year was six degrees cooler than average, including three nights below freezing late in the month, a stretch that could have delayed trees from showcasing their true colors. I took this picture on April 30th in 2020. Nine days later, the bloom was nearly complete, about a week earlier than this year. The daylight isn't going to change from year to year. We're still going to get the same amount of daylight in the spring as as we got last year and the year before that. But the amount of moisture and warmth can vary from year to year, which could speed up or slow down when the buds decide to pop. So it depends on kind of the ratio of those things for the tree. Jeff Wagner. So everybody's out and enjoying the weather. WCCO 4 News. Sudden warm spells in late winter and early spring can confuse some plants to bloom early, but then you know what happens. It goes back to freezing the nights that follow, and then those leaves rarely survive.